Yes, hello everybody. Hope you have an amazing day. Today's topic is about tooth development. In about six weeks of gestation, the oral epithelium proliferates and bulges into the underlying mesenchyme and forms a dental lamina. Dental lamina connects the developing tooth but to the epithelium layer of the mouth for a significant time. Tooth development is divided into the body stage, copy stage, belly stage, and maturation or crown stage. In body stage, in each quadrant of the mouth, dental lamina then develops a globular swelling called as tooth buds. The tooth bud is the group of cells at the end of the dental lamina. The second stage, which is the copy stage, in this stage, the mesenchymal cells aggregate near the pore of the tooth bud. These cells are called the dental papilla. At this point, the tooth bud grows around the mesenchymal aggregation, taking on to the appearance of a cap and becomes the enamel or the dental organ. A condensation of mesenchymal, of mesenchymal cells called the dental follicle surrounds the animal organ and limits the dental papilla. Eventually, the animal organ will produce enamel and the dental papilla will produce dentin and pulp and then dental follicle uh, will produce all the supporting structures of the tooth. The third stage which is the belly stage. In this stage, the dental organ is bell-shaped. During this stage, cells of the animal organ are divided into three layers. The cuboidal cells, the columnar cells, and the steloid reticulum. The cuboidal cells on the periphery of the dental organ are, the, are, are known as the outer enamel epithelium and the columnar cells of the enamel organ adjacent to the dental papilla are known as an inner enamel epithelium. While the steloid reticulum is a group of cells located in the center of the enamel organ of the developing tooth, these cells are star-shaped and synthesize glycosaminoglycans. The cells between the inner enamel epithelium and the steloid reticulum form a layer known as the stratum intermedium. The cells of inner uh, enamel epithelium give rise to amyloblasts, which produce enamel, and the dental papilla contains cells that develop into odontoblasts, which are dentin forming cells. Mesenchymal cells within the dental papilla are responsible for formation of tooth pulp. Also, the dental follicle give rise to amyloblasts, osteoblasts, and fibroblasts. The cementoblasts form the cementum of a tooth. Uh, osteoblasts give rise to alveolar bone around the tooth uh, or around the roots of the teeth. Fibroblasts develop the periodontal ligaments, which connect teeth to the alveolar bone through cementum. In the maturation stage or crown stage, hard tissues, including enamel and dentin, develop during this stage of tooth development. Also, there is a process called the dentinogenesis, which is dentin formation is the first identifiable feature in the crown stage of tooth development. Odontoblast, the dentin forming cells differentiate from cells of the dental papilla. They begin secreting an organic matrix which contains collagen fibers around the area just directly adjacent to the inner enamel epithelium. Further, odontoblasts begin to move toward the center of the tooth forming an extension called the odontoblast process. Amylogenesis is the formation of enamel on teeth and occurs during the crown stage of tooth development after dentinogenesis. Also, there is the cementinogenesis, which occurs late in the development of tooth. The cementoblasts differentiate from cells of dental follicle. The cementoblasts secrete matrix of proteins and collagen fibers. Then mineralization takes place. So that's all for today and don't forget to like, subscribe and share all the videos and see you in the next video.